This is the amazing concept of Virahanka or Fibonacci numbers. As you can see the first two numbers here, 0 and 1, they are the default numbers in the series. The next number 1 is obtained when you add the previous two numbers 0 and 1. Likewise, keep on following the sequence. 1 plus 2 will give you 3, 2 plus 3 will give you 5, 3 plus 5 will give you 8, 5 plus 8 will give you 13 and the sequence continues like this. This is called the Fibonacci numbers. Now how do you relate this Pascal's triangle? Now that's a very very amazing concept in maths. Pascal's triangle. You can see here the first row contains 1, then we have 1, 1, then we have 1, 2, 1. How did we obtain the 2? This 1 plus 1, I have written it in the middle. The sum 2 is written in the middle of 1 and 1. Likewise in the next row, starting with 1, ending with 1 and in the middle 1 plus 2 gives 3, 2 plus 1 gives 3 and we can continue this pattern to obtain new rows of the Pascal's triangle. Now you can see these numbers which we have written diagonally here, they are obtained by the diagonals of the Pascal's triangle. Like along this diagonal you have only 1, in the second diagonal you have only 1 again, in the third diagonal you have 1 plus 1 which gives you a 2, then in the next diagonal we have the sum as 3 and all these numbers which we are obtaining along the diagonals they are actually the Fibonacci numbers obtained from the Pascal's triangle. Isn't that an amazing concept?